hi this is Judy welcome back to my YouTube channel today I'm working on Chris's beautiful life 30 days of sketches sketch number 10 and the prompt for this one is six by six paper pads and I am not gonna use six by six I'm gonna use scraps and I'm again using pumpkin spice collection from close to my heart because I have it on my desk and you'll see that it fits this really good. I'm gonna keep using my date stamp. I'm gonna use this for my title. It, I'm gonna use this. This is an old uh, For All Seasons stamp set. I'm gonna use spring. Now in the sketch, and I'll put it in the corner, you'll see it has some um, strips of paper that have stripes and the chevron. So I thought I'd use the stamps on that. And then this is a, um, I've got pictures of my little horses here. Well, they're not little, <laughs> but we had a fire out um, on a neighbor's field. And this was in the spring. Um, we have a fire ban, so we're not supposed to burn because this can happen. So we were watching that. The firemen came and put it out and everything. But my horses were like, what you looking at? What you doing? So they came to see us, but I wanted to scrapbook that because my husband sometimes, I like to have a fire to burn um, cardboard and wood and everything. I, I like having a campfire kind of thing. And we live on a farm, so we have a lot of land and a lot of scrap wood. But he always says, you can't have one now, you can't have one now. And he's a fireman, so he knows. <clears throat> and he says, that's why you can't have one in the spring. <laughs> So that's what I am scrapbooking, that memory. So I pulled out some fire stamp sets. And this one is, I just got this recently from a friend. Because um, this came out before I did close to my heart. So there's some fire here from the motorcycle exhaust, but I can use them. And then there's this campfire and this new stamp set from the August. Um, it's called Months of the Year Collection. Every month we have a stamp set that coordinates with a monthly things that happen and then I brought out this campfire one because it ha does have fire here so those are the ones I was thinking of using so I just pull everything out and then if I use it I use it if I don't I don't right and then the um, sticker sheet this strip right here I thought I would use there's a strip at the top and then a bunch under the photo so that could be used there um, I don't know about anything else that I could use because they are more fall and this is the paper that I'm going to use right so it has those fire colors even in trees so I'm going to cut out a strip of this to use behind the photo and then I picked some scrap paper that was on my desk this is a piece of the pumpkin spice and then some glitter paper that's not close to my heart that I want to use up so I'm going to try and use some of that to get it out of my stash and then a piece of white daisy as the base. So I'll get everything together and then I will come back. Okay, I've narrowed things down a little bit. I've got my fire here. I'm gonna use shortbread to put it in the background. I could use a deeper color, but I just, I don't know. I, I might after. So I'm going to go, let's see, let's kind of mark it. Well, if I use my verse mat, I can measure, right? So we're going to go about at the six and a half for the um, the strips here. I cut that out. I got a whole bunch of strips from um, my stash, <laughs> and I trimmed some of them down. I'm going to dovetail some of them, and uh, my picture actually stuck here. I know. I'll show you there. So I'm just going to flip it over and use the other side, right? So. Love this new color. And I just want to give the representation of the fire. I don't want it to actually look like fire. All right. Now I'm going to have to flip that over because that was not a good image. This is going to be covered up anyway. All right, so use your foam side of your Versamat to get a better image. 
and I should learn. I know that. Oh, much better. And I can do second generation. Oh, it doesn't really show. <sighs> nope. It's okay. All right. So that's good. So that's going to be behind my trees. Let's test that and see what it looks like. How cool is that, right? Now, this photo is going to be here. And the other photo. Maybe I'll put it. There it is. I only put brown. I had pulled out a strip because a lot of it's going to be covered. I'm going to tuck it behind the trees like this. Okay, so we see that our fire is not showing, so I've got to do some more. All right, and that's why we test it, right? So we're going to make them a little bit higher. We'll have it going off of the paper. Move it down. That's better. All right, I like that. Okay. I'm going to stamp my title, and I've got spring on this block. I'm going to do it on our shortbread paper with our mocha color. This is our new brown. I love this color. Not only because they have horses and that'll work great for it, but it's just a nice, rich brown. I'm going to trim this out. I'm going to let it soak in there for a second. All right. Nice, nice. Okay, so I'm going to trim this out. And I'll be back in a minute. I'm going to put some glitter around the fire. All right, this stamp set. I'm going to do tone on tone for the strips that I'm going to do. So I'm going to do the mocha. And this strip will go at the top. Let me get a piece of scrap paper. Doesn't that look great? All right. Okay, that <laughs> came out really good. And then we're going to do the papaya. stamped my title, which is fire ban, and cut it out on the brother scan and cut. And I have the outline left over here. And I'm going to use this as a stencil. And actually I need to put those on there so I know about where to put it. Let's see, we're going to have this here. I'm going to have a strip of this. A strip of this. A little bit of that. Oh, I gotta have the glitter up there. That's probably I'm gonna cut that down, I can imagine. Maybe some of that. This will be about like this. 
this will go here. This big circle. Picture. Picture. This here, a bunch of these underneath. Then go with this. And I stamped these. Um, the other ones that I had Let's go here so it's roundabout like this <laughs> give you a rough estimation and I'll probably push this down because we're gonna have those fire flames okay so right about there is where I'm gonna have it so we're gonna now take everything away Let's see, let's do orange. I'm gonna create a little bit of color to put underneath my letters with my Distress Oxide inks. And I will pull out the Spiced Marmalade, which is a good, deep, rich color. And this doesn't have to be detailed because it's going to be like a shadow. And I don't want to go outside of my paper on the top or the bottom either. And the letters are going to be over the top, so it doesn't matter. Um, it's going to be real slight. So it doesn't matter if it's like, a, the, it's not smooth. <laughs> it doesn't have to be smooth. Oh, I went over there. Okay. That's okay. It's room to embellish, right? All right. I could have made it bigger to avoid that, but I worked with what I have. Okay. So what's going to be like now is I'm going to put this like that. Cool, 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 right? I love that look. Okay. Another thing I'm going to do is I'm, we just started carrying these quickie glue pens and this is a sticky glue and it's a ballpoint pen so it's real fine and this is really good to use with uh, really fine glitter i wouldn't use it with chunky glitter i haven't found it to work with that but i'm going to use it with really fine glitter so hopefully close to my heart will start carrying some fine glitter um, because these work really cool with glitter and I'm just going to add a little bit of the flames here to the ones that are going to be showing. So I'm just tracing the line. I'm not um, being for sure going around the outside. It doesn't have to be precise. Let's see. I'll bring it over here. Okay. Maybe a little here just in case that shows. So now I got some Art Institute glitter. It is a fine, ultra fine. Malone is the color. A melon, I'm not sure how you say it. It's got E at the end, so. So now you're just gonna pour the glitter on where your quick glue pen was. All right, and we're gonna just this back in the bottle and this is a recipe for disaster I'm looking at okay that looks a lot better ready Ooh, look at that it's stuck right where I put it isn't that pretty and it'll stay there too all right so let's get rid of this And I'm going to stick some things down, and then I will be back. Okay, my layout's almost done. I got a finger mark there, so I'm going to do some splatters with uh, paprika shimmer brush. Um, I've got paprika here, so and it's also in the trees. So it's a, okay to use it. I'm going to take it off my burst mat. Shake it up to get the shimmer going. You can hear the roller ball in there shaking it up. 
Don't open it over your project just in case there's a glob of ink there. Squeeze it to get it down, okay. So now we're gonna tap. And I'm going to put a big one right there. So it looks like it is a shimmer. Okay, so there is that. I really like how this layout came out. I will explain a little bit what I did. Um, I put these up on foam adhesive and I sponged around it with one of my daubers. Use the brown. I use our mocha ink to sponge around the letters to give it that look of the darker um, outline. I love that new brown. It's perfect. That's what this brown is and the photo mats are in the mocha. And you can see the shadowing with that uh, sponging that I did with the Distress Oxide. So, um, let's see. The glitter is not coming off. Just so you know, there's a couple of pieces that I need to get off of there. But it is stuck on the flames. Can you see it? I like the addition of that glitter paper. Um, I should just get rid of all my glitter paper and use close to my heart glitter paper. It's, <laughs> it's so much nicer. But anyways, it's okay. It looks good. It's a good color. It, ma it matches the layout. So <laughs> um, I added some strips down here that was not in the sketch. It's okay. You make the sketch what works for you, right? Um, I love these guys. They were so cute that day. So I just need to do a little journaling and I will probably type those up and print them out and put so it's small on here because I don't want to put big writing on it. Um, the trees here, I actually cut it and layered it. So there's some trees back and then some in the foreground. You can see the cut line there because it covered up too much of the photo, but I needed to cover that part of the photo mat that I didn't have. <laughs> so I made that work. And then I also layered the photo off so that it gives it visual interest. So you don't want to line things up unless everything is lined up, right? And all of the pieces are not lined up. They're different um, lengths and none of them are lined up perfectly, okay? So it gives it just gives it visual interest. So I hope you like that. It was a fun page. I can't think of anything else that I did that I needed to explain. Love the sketches. Thank you to Christy for doing this um, sketch series and to Scrap Timber, to Laura and the Scrappy Sisters to to do the prompts, even though I didn't use the prompt of six by six photo our paper pads. So I hope you look in my video description and there's a list of everybody who's doing videos. Some do them every day. Some do them sporadically how when they can. So you have lots of inspiration. Thank you very much and I will see you tomorrow, I hope.